Hi, I'm Michael Tokunaga, third generation owner of S Tokunaga Store Incorporated. Uh, we moved several times, you know, prior to this, before we got to this location at 619 Manono Street. Why don't you come inside and check us out? Since we moved to our new location in 2014, we have expanded our lines in fishing supplies, diving supplies, firearms, stand-up paddle boards, hydro flasks, flashlights, and many more other products. My grandfather, Sumie Tokunaga, who started the business in 1920, came as an immigrant when he was young, like 17 years old, and worked at the Okala Plantation. After working at the Okala Plantation, he wanted to better himself, so he started working at different places other than the plantation, like sewing, um, selling sewing machines and working at drug stores just to, you know, get ahead in life. And then he opened his own business in 1920. In 1917, my grandfather married my grandmother, Hanayo Yokoyama, and they had three children, Earl, George, and Mildred. And it was like when they opened the store, it was a true mom and pop store, you know, with kids running around in the Shinmachi village and all like that. It was, you know, like a perfect family-owned business. My grandfather was a very humble man. He was very well dressed and very proper. Um, he had started the Hilo Casting Club, which is, you know, still going on till this day since he enjoyed fishing. And eventually the store became more of a fishing taco shop than a sanjay shop. The business started in 1920, but I say maybe in 1927 or so, it was basically full on fishing tackle, yeah? So, you know, it's almost like 90 years, it's just been, you know, in the fishing tackle industry. After encountering the 1922 tidal wave, the shop moved from Shimachi to Mamo Street, and that was their second location in which the store got a little bit larger. Then after the 1946 tidal wave, the store moved further up the street on Mamo Street, which became their third location, and the store became a little bit more larger then. My grandfather's first love was actually ulua fishing, which is still popular to this day. But after the 1960 tidal wave, his daughter-in-law, which is, you know, Eto Tokunaga, took over the business. You know, being a female in the 60s, taking over a fishing taco shop is um, something of a challenge for a female to do, you know. But my mom did a good job and was very respected in the fishing community. After the 1960 tidal wave, my grandfather wanted to really quit running the business, but my mom said, let's keep it going because we have to keep it going because they built a good customer relationship. So in 1960, the store moved to 259 Keave Street. My sister Burl and I were raised in a mom and pop store environment in Mamo Street and in the 60s on Keave Street. Tokunaga store still kept on the legacy of being a real mom and pop shop with the kids running around. Like my grandfather, my mom was a very hard worker, you know, doing the everyday thing of a retailer from sweeping the floors to stocking the shelves, waiting on the customers and cleaning up. That was the main job of a full-time retailer. Then after the 1960 tidal wave, we were at the 259 Keave Street up until 1991. In 1991, my wife Peggy and I decided to move location and we started the other shop at 26 Hoku Street. I seen maybe four generations or maybe more you know my grandfather's friends when I was a young kid I used to see them because they used to go fishing and I used to tag along with them and then I used to see their children and their grandchildren and their great-grandchildren and maybe their great-great-great-grandchildren I'm really not too sure but you know I seen a lot of generations coming in and out through our doors At the Hoku Street, 
location, our business started to grow and grow. So we needed to move to a new location in which we moved to 619 Monono Street, which is the present location now. We don't have to move yet, but if we have to, we will. But then in 1997, my daughter Michaela was born and right now she's at Sonoma State taking up business classes. The future holds for Estokunaga store is hopefully we got a fourth generation and that person can run it exactly how my grandfather intended it to be. My grandfather gave me this advice and he said, get the products that the customer wants and also provide them with very good service at the very reasonable price.